going to show you how to unlock a Chevy Silverado with a Slim Jim or show you how a Slim Jim works. If you've locked your keys in it, need to get in one, whatever. Show exactly how this works and how we do it. All right, so this is my 2010 Silverado. This will work on the GMC Silver, Silverado, whatever. And you have a basic Slim Jim here. And uh, yeah, these things are really cheap. I'll leave a link down in the description below for instead of these guys here. They actually come in a different, couple different sizes. If you look here, it's kind of a smaller one. But uh, this one's actually been pre-bent. I've already bent it. Um, you gotta kinda have to bend these things for what application you're gonna use it on. This one is bent for Chevy Silverado. I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, on the tip here, this is actually the side or the style of Slim Jim you're gonna need to use to open up a Silverado. Not this little one bigger one. I actually have a tape measure inside the door panel of Silverado. Once I unlock it and show you, I'll actually do show you some measurements, stuff like that. I'll also show you behind the door panel on the mechanism that works um, back behind here and how it works and how this thing actually grabs what it needs to grab and unlocks the car door. And that's pretty much the trick is knowing how uh, the door actually functions with all its, how it locks and how it unlocks and things like that. If you know that, then you can use a Slim Jim. I know that, so I can show you kind of how it works on a Silverado. And uh, um, basically your first steps are gonna be, especially with this, you know, with this truck here, is you can do this with this molding on the truck, but I don't recommend it. It'll be kind of hard, okay? This molding actually just pops right up and pulls right off. This is on every single Silverado and like GMC Sierra, Tahoe. There's nothing that really holds these moldings on. Okay, this will make your life a lot easier if you just pull this off, okay? Comes right off. And we're gonna be working in this area here. Okay, just take note of where, if you still have this GM, you know, bunch of words, tempered glass, all this stuff like that right here on the glass. This is where you'll be working at. I'm actually going to put some tape here because I don't want to scratch the window. Okay, because the Slim Jim will scratch the window. So you to be kind of careful. Okay. Put a little bit of tape on there. Okay, so I'm going to scratch it up too much. I kind of want to still show you. Okay, so we're looking right here. And right now the car is locked. And you can see that when I unlock it, the little stick pops up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lock it. All right. Got to play around with the tape. Hopefully, you can see that. Okay, so I don't want to scratch it. Up. But I'm going to show you real quick how to use this thing. So again, it's pre-bit. All right, I'm going to stick this in. Pretty much right, right where the GM signal is at, okay? Okay, and then you're gonna feel how it, it actually kind of stops on its own. It's a little springy down there. And then it kind of has some play in here and you're gonna slide the bottom of it this way, okay? So what you're trying to do is there's a rod here that connects that stick or this indicator to the actual latch that's in the door. And you're trying to grab it and pull it up, so. I'm gonna have this floating. I'm gonna slide it over to the side, and you're gonna yank on it up like, like in this motion here. All right, guys, so I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on the inside of the door panel. Go in. Bounces. Okay. And there you go, it's unlocked right there. And you can see how it's grabbed it down there. 
Okay, at this point, you have to open it up. Okay, because it's unlocked. Because if you move the stick down, it's going to lock it. Okay. So if I want to disconnect it or pull the pull the stick back out, it might lock it. So and I'll show you one more time. Right here where the GM emblem is. Again. About okay, go. So you can move it like this a little bit to the right. Okay, all you gotta do is go, okay, and then you actually have it hooked. Okay, and you can work on it. pretty freaking it's not really that hard and I'll go ahead and show you the measurements on the uh, Slim Jim yeah, well 24 inches long about two foot a two foot long Slim Jim and the bend itself you want to start bending it at about five and a half inches where you kind of want the bend to start okay you're gonna have to bend it till you kind of get it but about five and a half inches all right guys well that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did do me a favor and hit that thumbs up um, yeah, if you lock your keys in the car and you know someone with a Slim Jim, or if you have a Slim Jim, you can pop it right open. Uh, using this, this this method here, it definitely takes a little bit of time and a little bit of practice to do it, okay? And, uh, you know, it might work on your F-150, it might work on your Dodge, but you really need to know how the bars are, fun like, you know, where they're at in the door, exactly on how to get the tool in there and how to get it to work. It's pretty much, this is a good rough, uh, a demonstration on how to do it but an exact demonstration on how to do it on a Silverado so if it helped you out do me a favor hit the thumbs up check out the rest of the channel if you want to see some more stuff on Silverados and things like that and how to how to fix them up and uh, yeah if you need to get uh, some Slim Jims or anything like that I'll leave links down in the description box below and you guys take care and just have a great weekend Later.